is Lesson 154. And uh, today I thought we'd, we'd stay in Norfolk. And I want to sort of paint you a, a picture of a Brom, Brom, Bromgrave Mill. This near near Horsey in, in, in Norfolk. It's, a, it's, it's the ruin of, uh, of Brograve Mill. It's not it's no use anymore. It's been ruined for years. But it's still there and it makes an attractive picture. So there's our colours we're going to use, the raw sienna of the ochre, ultramarine, ultramarine plus burnt umber to give you like a, a grey colour. And then I'm not weak, a mix of alizarin crimson. And I want to try and depict this at, uh, at, at, at sunrise. So let's see where we go. So we, we, this, is our, this is our mill. And you, I don't know if you, you can't probably see it at this time, but, but the, it's ruined and that is, is a, a doorway here and a gap through the other side where you can see right through the mill. The, the, the sails are long gone and that, but it, it, it depicts a nice area here. The, the, the river comes past it like that, beautiful, and then to the distance. But I thought we'd, we'd, we'd do it as, as the sun rises and see how, what, what light we can catch on that. Right, so off we go. Uh, some clean water on it first. This is a, a number one brush. I should be big enough to do what I need to do today. Just wet it all over. It's a very clean brush. Oh, it's gone pinky. Not to worry, we'll sort it out. Make sure I've got it covered. A bit of rubbish on there, so it is, it is. <coughs> I think it's pretty, it's pretty wet evenly all over there. No. <coughs> and uh, see, it, 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 it's, it's rising the, the, the sun. It's, uh, so we'll, we'll go in first with some, uh, some raw sienna. Look with this. Bit stronger there. Then I want some. <coughs> Wash the brush out. Then we'll have some. I'm just going crimson into there now. Across the top here. And I want some blue, French ultramarine. Oh, I guess we'll get some of this blue down here on as well. The reflection of the light. I seem to have lost my uh, lost my that's my Alison my Rosie in there. I want to pop that back in again. I want to back in again there. More littering down here. There's the blue down here. 
and right to the top there, where else there's um, this ultramarine and, and burnt umber mixed together. So you give me a, a bit of a dark up there. Turn the brush on one side, you can extra, extra flick on it. Strong colour up there. Because we'll replicate that. Oh, I like that word. Do it down in the down in the base here. Dry a little bit. Restate that uh, number six brush on this, I think. Oh, number, no, number ten. <coughs> number ten brush. And to restate that, that sunrise just here. Steep in a bit that first. I want to just put the the sun as it's as it's, as it's rising and I might be too too soon this bit. We'll see how we go. This is a, a small tube wrapped in a tissue. Let's see what we go like about here. That's the tube, see? Take it out of there. We'll use that tissue now. I'll we'll try and lift some some light out of here so we'll be at reflections. Somewhere it's just I think we'll let that dry for a bit now. Well that's dry now. So what I want to do re restate some some uh, not the clouds that have sort of softened into the into the sky, but one or two clouds that's, that's on top of the sky. Just was the sun dried in. This is using the the, the ultramarine and burnt timber mix. He 
it's just clearing the night and it's it's just just not done it yet but it's, it's getting there so you get the, the these small cloud formations like this as it comes across Just across here. Let's get another one down here. Tempted to put one across the sun just rising in there, but we'll see how we go. That'll do. Right, I'll try that now. Right, that's dry now. Uh, like I usually do, I'm, I'm, I'm starting at, the, at the, the back and bringing the painting forward. So we get our background in first and then work our way towards the front. Okay? So there's some, there's some distant, distant landscape here. We'll, we'll pop some of that in. See how we go. This time in the morning, most of it will be silhouetted. Just distant hedgerows and bushes and stuff like that. It separates the the sky from the from the land. That one layer done. And bring it forward a bit, a bit more now. Pop another layer in there. A bit more warmth in this, I think. A bit more. A bit more burnt and burnt into that mix. Let's see if it. Bring it towards us. Yeah, that should do it. See, see through the mill there, just so it goes right through. And all that's in it, it's just that uh, it's basically said, ah, oh, well, there's some distance, and there's a field there in the middle. Then another, another, head, another hedgerow here, and then you come into what's, what's in front of the mill here. I'm going to try and mix that up. What? I'll put some raw sienna on this. Let's see where we go with that. Just a
loads of reeds on the front of this, so this is where it goes down here. Some of this on this side here. Oh, I look crows at. Don't make a noise, they do. This is just raw sienna, like an undercoat if you want. Draw that a bit now. There's another bit of a hedgerow pop. Um, I want to pop in there. It's just a bit, sort of a, like a continuation of that. That's on that side of the river, and there's one on this side of the river here. So we'll, we'll pop that in just to get things, get the, the background on, if you like. So that's what sort that out. It's nice when it breaks the horizon, the foreground one. That'll look right under the, right the water's edge. Right now, no, this this is. Uh, it's, it's, it's like a weak mix of burnt umber, what we've got there. Let's, let's just put a touch of burnt umber in there just to, to pick some movement on that. Let me get the colour right. Burnt umber, it's a weak mix of it. So I want to put some of this on here. Through all over these reeds, you'll get some up, up there as well. And same with this side as well. So we'll put pop, pop from this side as well. Right in the distance there. And there's a, a bit of a, you can see it's sort of the silhouette stuff of, of reeds just here. I'm going to darken that first now. More burnt umber there. It's a, it's a dirty old brown, but it, it makes some lovely, lovely colours it does. A burnt umber. Let's go and put some darker tones in here. So at this time in the morning, the the the, the, the colours that that is, is when the sun rises up is is, is green and stuff like that, turns to different, makes different colours, quite interesting. I'll 
put the mill into them. Let's get this to the base of this these reeds and that in first. Some of that burnt umber and the uh, French ultramarine mixed together now will give you an even darker brown. So don't forget, this is this is against the light, isn't it? There's, the sun's just rising there. Not got much strength in it yet. Uh, we'll, we'll paint the body in the mill, and I wonder, I'm using the French ultramarine and burnt umber. Don't make, don't take, tempt it to put a, a Payne's grey in there, or something dark like a black or something lamp black, because you, you want to sort of leave a little bit of light on, onto this, and, and the the burnt umber and French ultramarine will, will, will harmonise more with the with the landscape what we've got. So this is the colour. It's, it looks it, it looks black. Believe me, it's not. Got some colour in it. stuff on top there like that. I say it's old, it's it's very old in fact. Be careful there because as I say you can see right through the mill. And if you leave flicky lines down there that's that shows the 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 grasses and that are, are sort of up against the actual mill. A bit of clean water and just to put into this here. Just want to catch the light. As the sun is rising, there I'm catching that. I want to catch some some of this light as it's. It's just catching the, the sunlight on the edge of that. That's all it is, nothing more. And of course inside there's an inter I'll get a really fine brush on this. That's the other side up this is the other side other side of the villages. And you can see the, well, you can see the, uh, the the land. It's whole. It's a hole in the mill. It's it's rotted. It's gone. But the, the actual backside of the mill is there. All right. We'll see about some uh, some sails in there now, shall we? 
I wonder if, if I use this this brush here might might do it. That one we, we did the wash with in the first place. Let's see if we can, see if we can do something with that. It might work. It might not. We'll see. Try that bit first before I take that through. That's the edge of that ruined plank there. Get into three pieces that one. Comes across here. It's broken, folks. It's broken, believe me. Not, not turn it again that it's been stood there for years anyway so so that'll that'll not uh, it's not turn anyway so unless anybody spends a lot of money on it Don't don't try and make it fancy. It's 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 what it is. There's a bit, there's a bit of uh, debris on the top there, which is which is growing out of it. Uh, normally it would be would be green, of course, because it's 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 weeds and stuff like that. But we'll see what we can, we can put. I'll do a twiddler on that and put some stuff onto it. Just a bit on the top. It's. Yeah, don't mess them out with those sails out there. They're, they're, they're done. Let's see if I can get a brush. Put, put a bit more of these reeds in here, but in a, in a fine manner. I want some reed, burnt umber. Be a nice mix that. dark area at the front here. I'll put that dark area in and uh, and it'll give you it's it it bit bit like something that you, you stood on to look at the picture if you like. Roughly like this down here.
Right. I'll, I'll flick some reeds up in front of this. These reeds have got heads on. You're swinging about in the breeze, but it's, at this time of morning there's no breeze, no nothing. Just sunrise. It's going to be a nice day, you can tell that. Tattle. That's a couple of birds, well, not two, it'll be odd, odd colour, one, two, or three, one, or three, or five. Let's have a look there. Watch some just. Don't have a big kind of they just uh, so we're suggesting they people in this time in the morning it's they, they haven't got up yet so we'll uh, probably just tighten tighten this base line up a bit here see I don't know I'll, I'll, just as a I'll suggest a, a bit of reflection of that mill in the water how's that that might help Not a lot, just a just a suggestion. See much of that, you know, because it's you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't see much really twiddle a bit here. Your door is too far back to see it. All I'm getting is this top little bit here. Would you see a little touch of that, that reflection there? Might get a choice there. You're not going to see it up there. And now, now's the time I'm, to put the brush down. I'm, I'm looking for things to to fiddle with, and I shouldn't do that. A bad, bad idea. But uh, what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll close it down before we before we finish. Let's see if we. 
and then our, our Brogrove Mill, or ru Ruin Mill, I should say, uh, near near Horsey in 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 Norfolk. Uh, I've enjoyed doing that. It's only a little little quickie, but uh, but I've enjoyed it. So, uh, well, until next time, folks. It's 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 goodbye from me, and and please give us a, a subscribe and and uh, a like or something or whatever they do. You know, the click, click subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, and you can you can then put your ten pen in and say, well. Will you will you paint something or will you will you do a snow scene or will you do an autumn scene or will you do a spring scene or or, or something or will you anything like that? And uh, I'm open to suggestions. So when you can or if you can, uh, please please contact me. Uh, and until then, folks, it's goodbye. So goodbye, folks. See you on the next one.